Today we are hiking Noonmark Mountain and hopefully Round Mountain as well, but I'm kind of on a time constraint today. So we'll see where I am after Noonmark. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully I can get both in. Um, but we'll see. And there's also um, like a snow on the ground, so we shall see how that goes. Um, because the last time I tried to do this uh, trail area, I, I couldn't find the trail. So, because it was again covered in snow, <laughs> but the snow was much, much deeper last time. So, this is fine. And Noon Mark is not as high as I tried to. I'm so embarrassed to admit this. I tried to do the Dix range last time, and yeah, <laughs> didn't really work out. <laughs> uh, wow, there's like, oh my gosh, look at all these like rocks that like kind of show you the path. Yeah, that's how th thick the snow was last time. I didn't see any of this last time. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the like famous Grace, or now I think it's called East, um, East Dix or East peak um, something that slide was all covered in snow so I couldn't see the yellow markings on the rocks telling me where to go so I was so close to the top but I couldn't because I, I really like I really tried to find the path but I just I couldn't find it so I'm like I'm not getting lost here so I'm gonna turn around <laughs> Right, we made it to the um, the pond. So we're about, I think the pond is about 0.7 miles away. So I just want to get a quick view of it because it's so pretty. Um, so I think we should be coming up to the cutoff for Round and Newmark Mountain. But honestly, I can't remember. It might still be maybe like a mile or so away. So. I just thought this was really pretty because you can kind of see like the sun peeking through the trees um, and I want to say we're almost to that cutoff so yeah I'm so excited oh and if you do noon mark from uh, round pond which is what I'm doing you can also do the whole Dix range from there um, you want to oh boy this looks slippery that looks slippery <laughs> um, I don't think there's any other way though um, okay I'm gonna be right back because I need I'm a baby I need two hands to do this so be right back. okay sorry about that I just um, on street and I I have flashbacks because I did that. I slipped while talking to someone and I fell fully immersed in a stream. In like a little stream like that, like nothing big, but I was fully submersed and it was starting to snow on the way. So, um, a good thing I did that like with maybe only three miles top, top left and that was like, you know, going down. So, um, we got back to our cars really, really fast, but yeah. I learned my lesson. Don't try to, don't try to be speedy. <laughs> uh, I mean, some things you can, but yeah. Um, but anyways, this is so pretty. Oh, yes. Um, and if you try to do, like I said, new mark, and hopefully round mountain too. But again, I don't know if I'm gonna have time. Um, 
um, around pond parking. Sorry, it's so pretty. Um, you're gonna wanna do follow the like blue markers that I'm following right now. And then I think no more than two miles in, you're gonna come to a cutoff that will tell you to keep following the blue for Dick's Mountain range or just Dick's Mountain. And then um, I think red for new mark and yellow for round. Um, but it's an obvious like intersection. So yeah, that's where we're headed. It's so pretty. Alright, as you can see guys, we made it to the cutoff and it's about 9.30 so I'm doing really good on time and as you can see, noon mark, actually I don't know if you can read that, but noon mark is over there and it's the red trail and it's about a mile away but it is about, it says 1,216 elevation gain. So that's a lot in a mile. So this is definitely gonna take me a solid hour, I think. Um, but then it says Round Mountain over there. It's uh, kind of like, it says is about 1.4 miles, but I think that's less about 700 to 600 foot elevation gain. So that's not gonna be nearly as bad as noon mark. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a tough climb. So I'm excited though, we're fine, we're here. Um, and I, oh, I just wanted to try and show you how steep this trail is. Like, they are not kidding, it's steep, holy shite. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but came up that, now we're going up here. I mean, it's really pretty, but oh, is it steep? And there's snow. So I'm kind of navigating that too. Um, yeah, it's just really, really steep. Um, I don't even think I'm halfway yet. Ow. Um, I would say I'm almost halfway, but not quite. Whew. Oh God. I think we are almost to the top. That I'm hoping is our summit or right beyond it, but whew. this has been a intense climb, but really, really pretty. It's blue, look at that blue sky, man. Oh my God, oh, the sun is just so pretty. My feet are frozen though. I don't know if I'm gonna go to Round, around Mountain because my feet are just frozen. So, because I have like, it was either, because I do have a pair of new hiking shoes, um, but they're giving me blisters. So it was either have cold feet or get blisters. So 
I decided to have cold feet today. But I didn't think it was gonna be this snowy, honestly. So that was kind of my misjudgment. But yeah, so pretty. We're not even at the top. And I know what people say this, but it, boy, was it true today. I swear it was like at least 20 degrees colder um, than it is um, climbing down. Like, I don't even think, I'm probably almost back to that um, like intersection, maybe, maybe a little less. Um, and oh my God, am I so much warmer. Like I can actually not have my gloves on and my hands are fine. Like, my hands were frozen. <laughs> and so were my feet, so. Um, I would love to go to Round Mountain, but um, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead because I just, I was um, not prepared <laughs> today, so. Yeah, but it is gorgeous. I'm really glad. I don't know if you just saw, but <laughs> I just got snowed on. Yeah, this. It's all snow when I was coming up. <laughs> Shows how much the, s the sun makes a difference. So pretty though. 